Can you tell us your name and which neighborhood you live in? Yes, I'm Treva Reed. I live in District 7, Deep East Oakland. And what made you decide to run for mayor? I'm running as a council member for Oakland mayor to move it forward for all of us with this just, equitable, resilient recovery that we've been talking about since I've come into office. And I've also seen that we've been on the wrong track since coming into office. And I believe that this is a moment of contagious hope and action and just this courageous leadership to really get us back on track. And so I'm still hungry to drive for that change and to lead as mayor to lead out with a multi-billion dollar budget that's truly equitable across the city and making sure that critical service delivery and implementation, it takes place from me hiring and leading the administration to actually get that work done for the city across the town. After interviewing Oakland residents, I found that public safety was the top concern for most people I spoke with. Hmm. Can you briefly describe your plan of action for public safety and policing? Yeah, you know, more than 16,000 people have experienced some measure of crime in the city. And I'm gonna build on one of the first things that I did coming into office, and that's progressing on this resolution, declaring gun violence a public health crisis, making sure that we double our investment in violence prevention, intervention, and healing and trauma care, making sure that we also have adequate police safety resources. That's what we've heard from our district. We want more and not less. And so building up a pipeline of Oakland grown sworn officers with four police academies, making sure that we expand macro, which is our non-police, um, non-emergency response to the, to the needs, having resources and services provided to people. And it's making sure that we establish an interagency um, a task force that leads out on short-term, long-term strategies, investing in it with this collaborative partnership with regional, state, county, and community partners all at the table. Can you briefly describe your plan of action for addressing homelessness? Oh, we are feeling the weight of homelessness and that crisis, you know, regrettably has been disproportionately affecting our black community members. I lead out on a black housing regional task force, making sure that we have more intentional and urgent action for those who've been impacted the most, calling on the state to deliver a 500 million investment into this region to deal with the 40% displacement that we've experienced. But it's also making sure that we restructure how we're managing this crisis. We have mismanaged more than $70 million. So it's redirecting our fund, restructuring it to take care of not managing the crisis, but leading people out with increased shelter, increased temporary permanent housing solutions with ongoing support of wraparound services, using our existing land like we're doing right now in East Oakland, converting hotels and other facilities for housing transitional homes. We're doing more transitional youth age homes. It's making sure that we increase our rental assistance, our down payment assistance, our mortgage assistance, and doing something that I've benefited from, an affordable home ownership program to give people that generational wealth equity. Everyone deserves housing dignity, and I'm going to fight for it as I've experienced housing instability myself. Decisions the next mayor makes about a new Oakland A stadium will have a huge impact on Oakland's economy in the coming decades. So what will you prioritize when making decisions about the Howard Terminal development? Well, the A's have proposed uh, a beautiful vision for this multi-billion dollar project that is actually more than just a ballpark. That's 35,000 seat ballpark is a part of this beautiful vision of how we could have billions reinvested back into the city. And so while the A's wanna hit a home run, we wanna make sure that we take care and prioritize Oaklanders in that deal. And we've yet to see the finance deal. But that project has to make sure that it has the 35% affordable housing of those 3,000 units. It has to be a project that will not cause there to be increase in city and county parcel tax. We have to make sure that we protect our general fund and not put it at risk because those funds are what we need on the ground, delivering paving, illegal dumping and blight, homeless services, and making sure that we take advantage of this opportunity for economic impact without it costing an impact in the city. And so I'm excited for us to continue to go into negotiations, but those negotiations must deliver for and benefit Oaklanders and include a $400 million plus community fund to really ensure that we've got those services, the support and anti-displacement opportunities for the communities most impacted of West Oakland, Jack London, Chinatown, and the surrounding area. How have your past experiences prepared you to lead Oakland as our mayor? Oh, I think that my past experiences can be boiled down into two words, and it's action and accountability. I'm a resilient single mother. I had my daughter when I was at Hampton University and raised my daughter here in Oakland, and she earned a full ride to Harvard University. 
I'm so proud of her. I bring that same level of fight for other families to be in position to come through a lot of hardships like I have to get to where they want to be. I've owned my own business. I've run that business. I launched my family's small business here that's still thriving nearly two decades later. I've led Fortune 500 companies to great success, being a regional marketing and sales manager for Ford Motor Company. I've served even come, prior to coming on the council on 12 boards, community boards of organizations, working deeply on the ground with strategies and solutions that serve our community. And I also worked for Senator Nancy Skinner when she was in the state assembly. I was her senior aide for Oakland and Alameda County. She was the state budget chair and I laid out on a number of issues and policies and funding that really impacted to transform Oakland during that time. Is there anything I didn't ask that you'd like Oaklanders to know? I love Oakland. You know, this is a town that I believe that they want to see someone with that lived, that legislative, and that professional experience with a heart for the town that's gonna to serve us deeply. I've lived many of the issues that have impacted us the most. I've lived the deep trauma of losing our son, Brandon, to gun violence. I've lived that threat of facing homelessness and housing instability, growing up living with 20 to 30 people in the home and my first home being $60 a month deeply subsidized and wanting to see the federal government partner more with us. I've lived being unemployed, trying to take care of my family. I've lived on welfare and WIC. Many of these issues that we're faced with, we've not had that representation and leadership. We've never had a mayor serving out of deep East Oakland in our 170 year history. And we've also never had a black woman, a resilient single mother showing up to put a fight of faith for this town like I don't believe we have seen before. And that's this moment that I have. And I hope that Oaklanders who deserve action will give me that opportunity to lead, to serve, to deliver with this strategy of love and integrity and turn the town around for all of us and hold me accountable doing it as we get the town back together. All right, thank you so much. Yes. To close, can you recommend a local restaurant that you wish more people knew about? Roderick's, 2708 98th is across from Bishop O'Dell. Great barbecue, great seafood, delicious soul food. It is a treasure in deep East Oakland and I invite you all out to come meet with me at Roderick's. We can come have some good food and fun there as well. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome.